Welcome to the Barstool College Football Show presented by FTX, the world's most popular mobile app for cryptocurrency tracking and trading. We are back in New York, week five. It's going to be October this weekend. We were in Chicago last week, Dan. Uh, the last time we were all sitting together, uh, we were jumping around. We were having a lot of fun. Uh, the day did not end that way. Nope. Wisconsin's dead. Mm -hmm. But I always bring them back. So they'll probably be back at some point this season, and I'll buy back in. But, yeah, that was bad. Their offense is really, really broken. Their defense can still play with anyone. I mean, th this is now two losses to top 15 teams where they outgained the opponent and lost. Um, brutal way to lose. Brutal way to lose. Brutal way to have that all unravel. 13-10 going into the fourth quarter, and just the wheels completely came off. And uh, here we are. That was a... That was like a 23, 2013 kind of game, and it became 41-13. When it was 24-13, that felt about right. Well, no, but it, was, but it was 13-10, and the run back yeah. happens. And then that felt Changed like it everything. was almost impossible because it's like, all right, well, how are you going to, you know, it's so hard to score points. But even though, it, you know, you'll be back in on some point at Wisconsin, I mean, at what, what point, Graham Merch, does it get <laughs> yeah, no, I, a little I, too rough? I just said on the pick em, um, listen, I'm rooting for Graham Mertz. I like him. I want him to do well. But it probably is time for a change this season. And the backups at Wisconsin have the two best names possible. It's Chase Wolf yep. and Danny Vandenboom. That's oh, incredible. That's incredible. So Which one do you could, want, Wolf or Vandenboom? I think maybe go back and forth. Vandenboom screams major interception at the wrong time. Too. Yeah. <laughs> and Chase Wolf, yeah. you can just start tweeting wolf emojis when he does yeah, well. True. So there's some Vandenboom potential. also has Mac energy, too. Yeah, Danny yes. Vandenboom definitely would be like a that's Central that's Michigan a, a quarterback who played for like seven yeah. years. 100%. Ahead. Dave, you tweeted that you think we're now the number one college football show in the country about because of the crowd last week. Did you find that drone shot? Someone give I, us the drone I, shot. I don't know that that drone shot exists. Uh, Blattman, our producer, came up to me. So we had a big crowd. I don't really know what the ESPN oh, crowd... Oh, it, Jack McCarthy has it. It, it wasn't was great. Sad. It was very sad. But I've seen... Yeah, but then Blattman was showing me pictures that were clearly like, can we do this? And it's like, he's shooting it so obviously in our favor that we couldn't use it. So, I, yeah, we had a big crowd. I think we had bigger than... But I haven't seen It was anything. way more engaged, at least. I haven't seen anything definitive to back up. And by the way, even if it's toe to toe, that's pretty impressive by us. But I haven't seen these mythical air photos. The drone. Uh, all, who kept telling me about the drone? Somebody wouldn't. Oh, um, Megan making money. His husband, who was blackout. blackout <laughs> I mean, he was gone. Yeah. Blackout. He doesn't need on game days. Blackout. Yeah, that's what she said. She, apolog eat? she apologized to me. The first thing she said the next day, she's like, "Sorry about my husband. He feels." Uh, super embarrassed, but he has a hard and fast rule uh, he doesn't eat on LSU game days. That's the worst rule in America. At all? I love that rule. That's, That's the worst. Little, After the LSU's game? got little the best tailgating trick. food in the country. I love it, though. A little drinking trick there. Yeah. He, he was uh, a walking, standing eight count. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. He was incoherent. Made no sense. I didn't early know what in the he morning? Was. I didn't see him earlier. No, it was oh, later on. Oh, I thought I you saw I saw him. We went, no, we went to a bar afterwards, and uh, he was gonzo. I mean, not even on game day is crazy. That's the dumbest thing That's I've ever heard. Eat. Huh? So he was the one now that I'm doing. He's like, this drone footage. That, yeah, I think, now that oh, you're he was the one that said it all the drone? together, yeah. that oh. doesn't yeah. exist. Yeah, he was the one who consistently was like, and I, at one point, was dumb enough to be, like, engaging him in conversation. <laughs> and it was like, what, what drone footage? Get it to me. And it just never arrived. But He, he had his own drone? Or he thought no, he no, had he drone? said somebody tweeted it to us, but I never this saw it. This is one of those Listen. moments where when you say it out loud, you yeah, realize you're yeah. never yeah. getting the yeah, drone yeah. I never he saw footage. I never saw footage, but I did walk by game day. I walked by. I saw our crowd. Our crowd well, was just bigger did, and better. Blattman, do you actually have the picture? You're like, can we use this? I'm like, no. I told him the same thing because he has them at totally different angles. It's crazy. Ours is very close to the game day when it's like you way You could have made it the way he did it. You could have made it look like there was... It's just a photo, like one person be like, "This is the only guy at Barstool," <laughs> and then a bit. I mean, it was. But Jack, have you seen Jack McCarthy's video? Is that what you're talking about? Even that, I didn't think was like worthy uh, of like. I don't that. know. You got when you take a shot like that, because game day yeah. is king, right. and when you take right. a shot you, like you that, better, you better, you better have your yeah. yeah, yes. ducks in a row, not not uh, King Blackout, who's <laughs> talking about <laughs> mythical, you know, behind the behind the hedge just, shooter videos. I mean, uh, it, it was. <laughs> He, he, he was making no sense. Shame on me. I, I actually was listening to him like he had a pulse. Oh, like he had a drum. He was out. I mean, literally, <laughs> Megan's first thing, literally her first word Sunday morning was like, sorry about my husband. Didn't know we were going to be throwing shots at him today. but It's not a shot. No. It's a reality. It's a fair, it's a fair, it's a fair, fair one. It's a, it's a clean shot. If that's a rule, that's a rule. 
Then he wasn't eating after the game. I saw him after. Oh, yeah, he was not eating. And once the game's over, it feels like no, your rules should be gone. Because they played early. He just doesn't. That's crazy. I, he, he, I, like I don't it. even I like it. That's the old, my old vodka Red Bull. Diet. That's just like yeah. a, there's, there's, you know, don't twelve suck Saturdays up in the calendar year yeah. where you just don't, ex- you in can't hindsight, expect anything from him. I actually wish I remember a lot of things. He was saying ridiculous shit. <laughs> well, he he said to me, now it was just gonna be a show about him. He he <laughs> challenged me I remember to rock me. paper scissors shoot best of three, and he guaranteed that he'd throw scissors twice and he'd beat me for five hundred dollars <laughs> and i was like okay i'll do it and then when he saw the confidence in my face he's like i think i made a mistake right. and just yeah like he just told you exactly what he was gonna I mean, do yes. three rocks you're a winner yeah <laughs> right exactly so figured it out pretty quick and he, yeah. he didn't so yeah there's no drone footage if that was happening there's absolutely he, no drone now footage. that i'm recalling he is the one who told me he said it was tweeted at all of us but none of us have seen it no, so definitely. and i don't recall like just random drones flying above no so. i don't either Oh, Blavin exactly. just said it absolutely does not exist. It absolutely does not. Yeah, so he okay. was just, I mean, again, he, <laughs> he was truly the definition of blackout. <laughs> Let's get to the Sling Weekend Preview. If you love watching live sports but you're tired of paying high prices, it's time to take control of your TV experience and get Sling. Live TV starting at $35 and only $10 for your first month. Sling gives you access to the new Barstool Sports Channel exclusively on Sling. Go to sling.com slash Barstool to sign up now and get your first month starting at just $10. I'm not going to talk about Brandon's show because we're not allowed this guy. on it. We're not allowed on it. Well, this guy. So you can call in. The king of Sling TV. King of Sling. King of yeah. Sling. Number one, number one Barstool show on Sling TV. What else did you uh, say you were the king of this week? Oh, no. That's for an ad that comes out later. <laughs> almost, Brandon, be very close. Like, big names. King of Sling, I think that is Muhammad Ali, right? The king of Sling. Yeah, he sure. called himself and then the king of Sling. King you. of Sling. One, two. That's Brandon it. Walker, thank Fire you very list. much. It's actually doing very well. Thank you for uh, shouting it lot out. A lot of callers. A lot of you yelling. Uh, speaking of, let's get to our game, which I'm not excited to talk about, but we're going to. Mississippi State at number 15 A&M. It's in College Station. It's a night game. A&M favored by seven, the total at 46. I'll be the first one to say it. I was dead wrong about A&M last week. Uh, obviously, they're not going to win the national championship at this point. Fine. What are you What are you grinning at? Nothing. Yeah. This what is, are you this fucking is grinning at? Absolute hometown cooking. Even to have this game. No, on but we, I, we, had to we had to it's, do it. It's, it's me so and Brandon. Yeah. Yeah. We had to do it. Yeah, we had to do it. I mean, yeah, we can take it off. I don't. We don't have to talk about it. Just not talking about it. We don't have to. Michigan's undefeated. We can skip it. Let's skip it. No, no, we won't skip it. No, I was laughing because Michigan's undefeated. Brandon is the king of bringing things to my attention that were never like even in my fucking worldview. And then being like, please don't do this. But it's like, I wasn't even thinking about it. He texted me last night. He's like, please don't create a bet between me and Casey. I was like, Brandon, I have a million things going on. I even think about it until I just this said second. it didn't even belong on the board. It doesn't belong yeah. on the list. I'm not going to make a bet. Thank you. you. But I just wanted to just say, Brandon is the king of putting things in front of me and then being like, please don't do it. And then when I do it, he's like, why did you do it? It's like, well, you told me. Well, one of the main reasons that it is on here too, because you know, for the last two years, this week is his like witching week. The year before or yes. two years ago, he was in the yell leader outfit, shoved Devlin. Yep. And then last year she after this game, he locked out. me out of the podcast she, and I slammed the right. door. So so this remember when she went bad, behind my back? And this, this is a bad week This is a bad Brandon. week for Brandon. So he usually makes an ass of himself next week. He made me have a gentleman's agreement with him that we would not ask you to make a bet. I'm not going to. All right, here's the thing. <laughs> This is an awful game. Texas A&M's offense stinks. Mississippi State's I mean, whole team worst. stinks. But we're the same. Loser has to go on the Hudson River. It's the most frustrating. It's the most frustrating Love season it. of my life because it's just like his team. We have outgained two teams by 250 yards. LSU's trash. We outgained them. Lost. Outgained Memphis. Lost. Now what's going to happen is we're going to cover the seven. We're going to lose in heartbreaking fashion. That's what's going to happen this weekend. Uh, I mean, we're both just sad right now. I mean, the A&M, like you said, the offense was so bad. I do give Arkansas credit. I think we can all give Arkansas a little bit of credit now. How does A&M not have a backup quarterback that's better than this? The Cuban Missile? Yeah, he's terrible. You see Elio's video? Yes. Very funny. What, what, he, oh, yeah, he, he was to heavy one on him, season, right? right? Well, he, yeah, and he, I retweeted, but he was going nuts. I didn't watch the game, but apparently the A&M quarterback throws the ball 100 miles per hour. The Cuban like, like, uh, the uh, Cuban yes. a yard away. I mean, you have to. I know. The old Ryan Mallett. Remember Ryan Mallett just used to do that for Michigan? He, he throws it. just throw it at people's He's face. He's like yes. bouncing off heads. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> I it, like that. It made Joe me, Milton for Tennessee right now. He does that. He just, he throws it way too hard, and he just doesn't. It made me miss but Kellen Mott. that's, listen. No his offense. His name is the Cuban Missile. You can't expect for him to have touch on his pass. Fine. They don't lob in missiles. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay? Yeah. 
I no, mean, I, I, listen, this game stinks, and we don't have to talk about it. I think no, I, I, we have to talk about it. We do it's have to our, talk about it's it. Our it's our it's, 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 it's rivalry week across. Yeah. I can't even say that word. Across the board, so we do have to talk <clears> about it. But the good news is for you, Brandon, is like last year we knew A&M was going to kick the shit out of Mississippi State, which they did. You know, I, you had to I drive back. I don't know that that's necessarily um, true, but okay. But I, I'm not very confident because that offense is one of the worst offenses I've ever seen. It'll be an ugly game. I'm and with Brandon. I'm going to take the seven. I don't trust either team, so I'm going to take the seven. Although Mississippi State, like, come on. Guys. We've lost. It's weird. We lost by two. We lost by three. We, like, we're we're yeah, good, playing yeah. close games. Just we're figuring out ways. ways you guys also it. have weird onside kick situations right now. Every week. Every yeah. week they Every think week. they've it's recovered like, the onside kick. Oh. It was watching Amy, obviously that. A and M obviously has sucked. But my question to A and M, why does this backup quarterback throw the ball so hard? <laughs> he throws a two yard pass and he hucks it as hard. <laughs> like have a little like nobody taught him that like. Just throw it like, like this. So much throw pain it like this. It's a four yard pass. You don't need to huck in at the guy. <laughs> it's going to bounce off the guy's head and be a pick six. I know, and he's did you riled see, up. Did you that. see the uh, video that he did during the game where he put on that tiny little helmet? Yeah, I did see yes. that. That yeah. was, yeah. Well, he, that was a pick, so there. I know, I know. Um, Dave, do you have a thought on this game? No, it's gross, but. Um, <laughs> it's gross. It, it, it's gross, gross colors, gross teams, gross game. No gross oh, you colors. hate maroon, right? Well, I mean, it's, 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 colors are fine. Both terror, it's a terrible. Like, well, we talk they're the about exact good, same uniforms. We talk about good uniform games. This is a terrible. Unless I, A&M I, wears I the know black. I, Unless a wears the black. I know I have to pick the game. Yes. But the game sucks. I will take Mississippi <laughs> State in the points, but I hate it. Is, it, it is. I mean, I can't take Mississippi it, it, State. Obviously, I have to take A and M in the points. Well, it's. It I would also it. take the under as well. Because, oh well, yeah. Uh, I mean, your offense stinks. Yes, Our offense. But you could then get Michigan. I'm uh, Michigan, Wisconsin, or Dame, where like that under all of a sudden explodes. Yeah, was up. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. The pick six off the helmet would help. Um, so, did, were you just joking about the Hudson River thing, or? No, yeah, I was kidding. Okay, so no bets. No bets. All right, good. Yeah, made it. All right, let's go to the other game of the week between these the four of us. Number 14, Michigan at Wisconsin. Wisconsin right now favored by one and a half. The total at 43 and a half. It is the 12 o'clock click, kick at Camp Randall. Dan, I will start with you. Heartbreaking loss last week that just spiraled out of control. Michigan's undefeated. Yeah, I, I'm going to take Wisconsin. I do not trust the offense, um, but their defense is very good. And that's the most frustrating part with this entire season is their defense has played very well. They were all over Notre Dame. They didn't, I think Notre Dame had like four rush yards. We had more interceptions than they had rush yards. So I don't trust Michigan's passing game. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a hard fought in the trenches, Big Ten football, punt, 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 punt. Uh, we should actually get a prop to see if we can get over punts. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna take Wisconsin. Brandon? Yeah, I'm all over Wisconsin here too. I think they're gonna win the game. Uh, Michigan against Rutgers, 273 total yards. Or their quarterback completed nine passes for 175 yards. They can't run, they can't throw. This will be the best defense they play all year. And they're just ripe for, for getting beat. I like Wisconsin to win this game. Dave, how are you feeling about Michigan? Well, how can you feel good when the spread's one? Yeah. It's a two-loss Wisconsin team coming into undefeated Michigan. I was feeling pretty good till the second half of that Rutgers game. Uh, they could have lost that. I think they had one first down with maybe three minutes to go. The old Michigan was back. You know, I'm rooting for Michigan, but I'm not going to let them suck me into the same shit anymore where I'm expecting anything out of them. And all. I want them to win. I will not bet against them. If I was betting, I would take Wisconsin because I do think they're going to win. For the purpose of this show, I'll stick with Michigan. I will say it's weird because the two teams that they smashed, while not great, Northern Illinois and Western Michigan, have acquitted themselves mm -hmm. fairly well versus other, like, Western right. Michigan beat Pitt. And Northern Illinois beat somebody too. Georgia, Georgia Tech. Tech, and that yeah, Georgia Tech right. loss went yeah. his age very yeah, well. Yeah, so like it, maybe that was just an aberration the second half, but who knows? This will obviously, there's a lot more on the line. This is the, I mean, every game is now big. Wisconsin to me is the team more than Ohio who has shown the downfall of Michigan because they've kicked the shit out of us by just running the ball up the middle. We'll see. If we win this game, I'm back Watch in two out. feet. Yeah. yeah, of course you are. Ev, what do you think about this game? I mean, I think it's just, I mean, it's the line. It's what you see, a number 14 team in the country, a dog on the road. I mean, so the set I had, Wisconsin's 10-2 against the spread the last 12 for Michigan, and 5-0 and against the spread at home in those games. I mean, the line just, I think the line tells you. Yeah. It's, why are they, why are they favored? As an Ohio State guy, do you want the, Wisconsin to beat Michigan? What kind of question is that? I want to I mean, hear, I yes. want to hear him and I mean, Dave go out again. Does Wisconsin See? and Michigan play? I mean, Wisconsin and Ohio play? No, no. no so not it's, it's in your interest for Michigan yeah. to win. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take Michigan. I like Michigan. I mean, Graham Mertz is just 
not very good. I'm high on Michigan right now. But, I mean, like you guys said, it could really go either way. There's uh, a chance, by the way, we're talking about this line. No, no, I was going to say uh, opposite. There's a chance that Wisconsin could finish like 6-6 six and six and be favored in every game because, like, the computer loves them because yeah. their defense is that defense good. Is so and good. It, just, they, and it can never actually produce on the especially field. Especially when it's at home. Too. I mean, if you keep outgaining your opponents, you'd think that at some point you'd win the game. Let's go to back to the SEC, number 12 Ole Miss at number 1 Alabama, the 3.30 kick. It's at Bryant-Denny. Uh, Dave, I'll start with you. Alabama's favored by 14. The total is one of the highest totals ever with 79. What do you think? The about highest that? total oh, it is the SEC. highest ever. Yes, thank you, Evan, not Mincy. So, oh, did I thought Min- yeah, Mincy. No, Mincy, Mincy heard, heard oh, Evan yeah. saying yeah. it. He, he said it to me and Marty and then tweeted it Third while we were mid conversation. Evan Third said it to you guys. To me and Marty, yes. And then, and then, and then Mincy heard tweet, it. And, and then Mincy tweeted it. Yeah. Literally, he's literally weak because Evan said it. It's and terrible. then Marty just pulled the tweet up, and then we looked, turned around, and Mincy was just sitting there and just fired <laughs> off the tweet. Just yeah. stole it from him. Ooh, Absolutely. Stole it. The way he phrased it. Highway robbery. To, to my homies. knowledge, which homies is the best home. part. <laughs> to my knowledge. Yeah, he He said. just overheard in the yes, office. Yes, correct. Uh, Dave, what do you think? I, well, I'm hoping I can get a fairly unbiased uh, take on this from Brandon. I'm hoping it goes the way I like. I love. Oldness, to the point I want to put my entire net worth on Respons- them. Responsibly. Responsibly. Yeah. I would if I wasn't responsible, but now I am. So I'll make a strong wager for my unit size. I love Oldness. I think this is a, a very close game. Well, clear. Yeah, I mean, to, for the point. I, I, don't, I can't win. love them that no. degree to win. I love them to cover. I think they have a chance to win. I love them. I've loved them. I've been circling this game. I've liked them all season. They've been exactly who I thought they would all season. I love them here. You think, love them. You think in the fourth quarter, Ole Miss will have a chance to win this yes, game? Yes, I do. Brandon, do you have an unbiased take? This is important how you answer this. No, this I understand. And I, I assume, Am I getting an unbiased I or a assume, biased take? I assume you are you're a gambling guy. I know how to read between the lines of what I'm about to say. I do have to make a pick for the show. I'm not going to bet this game with my money. I'm not going to bet on he Ole Miss. He likes Ole Miss. Yeah. Okay? You understand yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Uh, but here's the thing. It's remarkable that this game is the same species as these other two games we talked about because this is going to be a track meet. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a lot of throws down the field. My only problem with backing Ole Miss is if there's a start that's not ideal, they could get boat raced, no problem, because they have not faced any resistance whatsoever. They've not faced any defense. They've not faced any offense that can test them. Now they're facing a different animal in Bryant-Denny. If they don't get out to a 14-7 or a 7-0 start, they're not going to cover. Alabama's going to run away and hide. But Lane Kiffin, I think he feels like he's dialed in. Mm-hmm. Feels like talking a little feels bit. Feels like he's yeah. tweaking a little bit. So also, two, I'm not going to bet it, but I will pick Alabama on this show. I, it, I, and I will say, again, I – Ole Miss has done everything. I've watched them a bunch. I've bet on them a bunch. I've won on them a bunch. Their defense was so bad last year, and it's been very good this year. Now, they haven't played anybody. Right. So, if it reverts back to that old defense, they could both be in the 30s in the fourth quarter, and it could be, like, eventually Alabama will get a few stops. They're Alabama. I think their defense is much improved. I, like, I love it. I, I, now, the only fly in the ointment is that this defense is not improved and they just haven't played anybody. I don't think that's the case. I think this team – is very, very good. This game last year was 45-45 in the fourth quarter. That's what I'm saying, Final yeah. score, 62-48. Correct. Right. Yeah. So, uh, you know, they can score. The only problem is, are they scoring to keep up? Are they scoring to have a lead? Or are they scoring to try to get back to the but game? But I think their defense is, and again, is significantly better. Well, like, they last year, Alabama can score every single time they touch the ball. Right. I think this is going to be equal. I think it's going to be just very close. Well, and you've got two Heisman contenders right now. You've got Matt Carell and Bryce Young. Dan? It's a little early for that. Well, I mean, we talk about it every week. Uh, They're number one and two right still now. Still lower yes. Can we put yes, uh, Fresno, Fresno State? Jake I'd like Jay Kaner. Let's we put him in the conversation. Okay. Just okay. the conversation. Okay, he's in the conversation. Thank you. We're, like, What's top five? Oh, oh, no. Oh. God damn it. Oh. It's a, a pick em. Oh, I know. Oh. 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 I noticed Aria wasn't doing it. Aria did not do it. 
All right. Well, All right. we know where the riders. There we go. Oh, oh. yeah. Go. Well, go. so you have. If you're a rider, you have to do it. Oh, we're doing okay. it with the wrong hand. Ah, we're, we're, ah, it's okay. We're, you can do it with everything. We're, we're just that. That's a that's a show for. It just needs okay. to be in the conversation. That's all okay. we're asking. It's, it's, Put him in the conversation. Is he going to be streaming with us this weekend? Uh, <laughs> maybe not for this game. He's, okay. wor he's working on it. Twelve oh. to three thirty. He thought <laughs> Michigan Wisconsin was the big game of the weekend. Yeah. He's oh. Working mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. it. With all of it, it's, it's just whatever. I, I don't want to do it again. But the fact that like he. Like planned, like oh, Michigan, Wisconsin. That's all they care about. Like, does. have a clue. Let's keep it, let's keep it positive. We're, but we're yeah. actually like <laughs> some. Vibes only. Listen, we root for our teams, but we also know what the people right. want. Right. right. The people want Ole Miss, Alabama. That's the game everyone's gonna watch. Just, just on. Uh, Dan, what do you think about this game? Oh, I'm gonna take Dan, Ole Miss go in the over. I know you're not gonna. You guys, I mean, did you take? Alabama it is making me nervous that everybody, everybody's Hank. Like, Ole Miss. Hank. Hank. I know. It, and it's. I'm gonna to triple down on that because every oh. time I bet on Alabama, it's, I've been horrible this year against the spread. Obviously oh, no. we know that, but you guys might change your pick. I, I think it's too many points because every time I think Alabama is going to cover, they don't. Every time I think they're not going to cover, they do. You're switching? No, I'm not switching. I just want to throw one more fly in the ointment. I am from this state. Yes. I have a team that's very similar to this team right here. Every uh, single time. In what, you, in what world? And not program that's similar. Not, not the teams Same are not similar state. this year. Same state. I know the struggles that Ole Miss fans they're, have. I know the struggles cheap, Mississippi yeah. State fans have. Whenever you trick yourself as, as one of these fans into believing, then you go to Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa kills your entire No, I, I don't that's, disagree with that. I don't disagree with that it either. It kills your fucking soul. Every time I've bet Alabama and the points, I've lost. Every time I've bet against Alabama, I've lost. So I, I just simply have to... The chance to look up and Ole Miss is down 35 nothing early in the second quarter exists. Oh, I, I don't disagree with it. And the more that everyone keeps just saying Ole Miss, including me, being like, I love, 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 it makes me think well, this. You look back, it's like, oh, duh. Like, obviously, but Bama killed I feel like I'm, like, fading myself because I feel like Alabama could absolutely do that. But every time – I mean, also I'm just, haven't gotten a pick right. I literally just said that. I'm terrible. For, what are you? It's terrible. Five and 16? It's, it's the worst. Exactly I mean, I'm getting, me. getting my ass kicked this year, so I'm fading myself. I'm going to take Ole Miss. But you can't do that. That's not the – brain right. knows, like – But my brain doing. really wants to take Alabama. So take Alabama. But I can't because no, I'm always wrong on Alabama. No, take Alabama if you like them. Do it. You no, gotta, I, you I mean, Dan, look at my pick. record. Everybody, it I like matter. You got to be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. You got to do your pick. Your brain knows. Your pick. My brain doesn't know. Yes, obviously. Your pick. My brain knows who might, is going to win your the game. My brain knows that you're trying to fade. I know, but my brain knows who's going to win the game. It's just against the spread. My brain doesn't know no, shit. No, you have to pick Alabama for I, my own sake. And let me say this. If you don't think Ole Miss can win the game, you should probably take Alabama. Yes. Should definitely no. take Alabama. I mean, I I saw the way Alabama played against Florida, and I think that Ole Miss's offense could hang in the game. I do agree with Brandon that it, it could be really ugly, really fast. But I like Matt Corral a lot. All right, so the pick is Ole Miss. Yeah, I'm taking right. Ole Miss. I'm sorry, Dave. Good, good stuff. I'm sorry. Fun. I'm very sorry. We're gonna get to more games in just a second, but now let's go out to a new segment: drinking and dining with Chef Donnie, presented by High Noon Hard Seltzer. Let's send it out to Chapel Hill. We're here with High Noon for drinking and dining to find out where the best late night food is on campus. Let's go find out. Cheers. All right, the best late night food. We've had some High Noons. Where are we going to go get some late night bites? Uh, wings over is what my friend said, but Heavenly Buffaloes is the superior wing spot. <laughs> I guess Pantana Bob's. They have really good loaded tots. You guess? Really you good loaded tots. Get the you can't guess. Tots. You can't guess. You have loaded to know. Loaded tots at Pantana Bob's. A timeout. Absolutely timeout. Got to get the chicken cheddar biscuit. There's no question. Timeout. Timeout right time there. Out. Easily timeout. I think I got to go with timeout, man. You get the biscuit, the eggs, the mac and cheese, the grits. I, you can't beat it. You absolutely can't. Oh, okay. Beat it. We're going to go to a uh, timeout to get a bucket of bones. Bucket of bones. All right, where, where, where are we going? Bucket of bones. We're going. We're still at timeout. We're going to go with uh, definitely cinnamon rolls. Uh, maybe hit it with some mashed potatoes, fried chicken, biscuit, you know, the whole works. I always go to New York pizza. Timeout's all right. Timeout's all right. Oh, uh, you're Trevin. Timeout is the place to go. That shit's a ball. Timeout. The people have spoken. Timeout is the place to be for your late night food. We're here with the owner, Eddie Williams. Eddie, how this place come to be? We, we've been here 44 years. I opened in 1978, and we're right across from the campus of UNC, and we have a 
A lot of college students that come in 24 hours a day and we're still going strong. What's like the quintessential, what's the late night food? What do people get the most? They get chicken and cheddar biscuit and macaroni. It's a southern dish and cool. that's what we're known for and that's what 90% of the people get. That sounds great. Let's go make some. What do you say? Okay, good. All right, let's do it. All right, so the chicken cheddar biscuit, what's in it? Let's get to it. Chicken cheddar biscuit, we think is just the most authentic, real McCoy kind of sandwich because it's a very basic sandwich. It's just chicken and cheese, but we, instead of a prefab piece of chicken, we take a real chicken breast and tear it off the bone. We put that on with real cheddar cheese on a homemade biscuit that only we can make like that. So let's say it's a Friday night, people have been going out, it's like around two in the morning. Does it get, is that when it gets pretty busy? You get a oh, yeah, late night bar rush? Oh, yeah. We're the place to go after the bar. Right. We're the after party. It's a great nightcap. All right, should we make a biscuit? Should we get to it? Sure. Got the foil. We gotta get the biscuit out of the box. So now do you bake these every morning? We make them like every hour. Every hour. Wow, making. so you're really pumping we out biscuits. Them making them. These look incredible. Yeah. Look at that, it just looks buttery and flaky. And the cheese goes on. Nice piece of cheddar cheese yeah. right there. And then we do the chicken. Yeah, good. Now, is it a special dredge? Anything crazy or pretty basic? Just some pretty flour? Basic, but we do brine everything and, and see, okay. then we, we peel it off the bone. Oh, yeah. Because right next to the bone is the best chicken. Right, that's the best, the best flavor, best tenderness right there. Mm -hmm. All right, we got, and it just goes right on top. Yeah. Beautiful. I like it. It's just simple, but it's delicious and good. That biscuit is just calling my name. That looks like an incredible biscuit. I mean, come on. Late night food, usually it's just fast food junk. This is incredible. If you have this late night, if I had this on campus, I'd be in heaven. Kids really have a good year at UNC. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> that biscuit. Come on, give me yes, some right yes, there. Yes, that yes. biscuit is incredible. The chicken's amazing. I mean, geez, it's simple, but it's delicious. All right, well, mac and cheese. Yep. If I was coming back, like I said, late night, this spot would be incredible to have on campus. After the bars, after some high noons, you have a biscuit, you have some mac and cheese, you have some sweet tea, and you go to bed. Eddie, thank you so much. This is what a good spot here. Check it out here at your NC. I'll see you guys next time on Drinking and Dining. I'm Chef Donnie. See you. Did Rico really say uh, Fresno State guys could win the Heisman? He said no, he Adam didn't say they could win, but he was very insulted that we want to add him to the conversation. So we've been adding him to all the conversations just so that. Okay. He was adamant he couldn't win, but he People should be in the conversation. <coughs> yeah, he wants to, he okay. said that he wants a trip. Because he New can't York. win. Yeah. No, he said he can't. He, he but he deserves, the kid deserves, deserves a trip to New York. It oh, starts Zoom. here. There was a That's Zoom not really. thing he was talking about. All right. He's Zach Wilson every, and Zoom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was telling but me about But it starts it. here. Okay. On this show. All right. I barely beat UNLV last week. Hey. Yep. You, you also beat. You said what? He did. He did. You and, better, a gutty, and a gutty performance. Should, and should have beat Oregon. It was fantastic. You better add. I got Jake him. Jake Jake Hayner. <laughs> Jake Hayner. What, what school did he transfer from? Does Rico know that? No. Okay. What school? Washington. Add him to the Heisman conversation for the King of Sling. I got on it. On the number one college football King. show on Sling. You better, I better hear I got a it. segment about it. I got it tonight. I'll say it. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Brandon. Very big of you. Uh, let's go to a game that has a lot of playoff implications for a lot of people across the country. Number seven, Cincy at number nine, Notre Dame. Cincy right now favored by one and a half, the total at 50 and a half. It's the 2.30 game. It is at Notre Dame. Dave, I will start with you. Last week on the show, uh, we kind of buried Notre Dame a little bit, pissed off a lot of Notre Dame fans. Uh, where do you stand on them this week? You still? I, I buried Notre Dame. Safety school. Yeah. Everyone walks around like, what was your safety school? <laughs> Notre Dame. Well, I, I like the anger Yeah, I mean, here. the anger right here I is like, incredible. I guarantee you, half these kids <laughs> applied to Michigan. They're all united. They did not get in. I guarantee it. Now they're, you've united the crowd, though. I guarantee you've said, it. I mean, look you, at this. They applied to Harvard and Michigan and didn't get in. You settled for Notre Dame. You settled for Wisconsin. Oh. They took it. I thought you meant, I, I, I oh, no. thought you meant their, like, football the school. Program. No, 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 you didn't. It's a standard shit talk from you, though. Yeah. yeah. Notre Dame fans were furious after that game. I didn't hear that. They should have been happy. They, they kicked the shit out of Wisconsin. At, at us. Please. <laughs> um, listen, I, I like him here. 
Uh, I have not bought into Cincinnati. I think Cincinnati is a three to four loss team in a major conference. Um, maybe Notre Dame, you could say the same, although probably not. I think the same Notre Dame team that we've seen, I don't know, last decade, hovers around the four or five. But when you play like the one or two, you're going to lose by 30. Never a real threat to win anything, but a very real threat to be a BCS team. I like them here. Um, that 230 start, so, so Notre Dame. I guess I'd like it if I went to Notre Dame. It, it messes with your head when you're gambling, but, you know, it is a great start time. Also, we have a patch game. I believe, so all these Notre Dame fans are upset with me. I have the best patch hoodie we've ever given. I think it's bet 100 on Notre Dame versus spread. They cover, you get the hoodie. So relax and just, hey, listen. World we needs uh, ditch diggers and safety schools too. <laughs> if you're That's, in Indiana, if you're at the game, mm -hmm. you can bet it. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah the, the patch game any state. Awesome. Anywhere. Any yep. state. And you think this one's the best one so far? I think far? it's the best one. I like it the is awesome. I like the Michigan one the most so Michigan far, one's but. fire. They've all been great, yeah. but this one's, whew. Okay. And yeah. it, to be honest, well, no, you could be an ND fan, probably. I'm gonna say just if you're Irish or like the Irish, or like to drink. If you have ever had a drink, buy this way. <laughs> Dan, what do you think about this game? I'm taking Cincinnati. This, I mean, this is the biggest game in their program mm -hmm. history. I am also admitting well, by taking Cincinnati that I am grudge betting against Notre Dame. It probably will happen for the rest of the year. I do not think they're good. I will probably lose. Like if Notre Dame wins this game next week, doing it again. So. I'm, I'm, I'm openly saying right now I may be wrong on Notre Dame, and I will probably it will cost me greatly, but I'm, I'm going to keep betting against them because I do not think they're that good. Brandon? Okay, you both said things that were right. A, Notre Dame, really not that good. And they, I thought you said it pretty good last week. They're winning games. They're getting better, and you were right. Cincinnati, also not good. I can't shake that image of Cincinnati going to Indiana and absolutely being gifted a game by a bad quarterback. Notre Dame has got the talent. It's all young. This new quarterback, Drew Pine, whenever he takes over for Jack Cohn, the ceiling is going He's, up on the The offense completely changed. When he is in. fantastic. That receiver out there, Kevin Austin, the more they get him the ball, they've figured that out now. They can't really run it anymore. So I love Notre Dame to win this game. Cincinnati, you say it's the biggest game in their history? It is. But I don't think they're a team that can go into Notre Dame and win the biggest game in their history. Okay. Big Ev, what do you got for stats on this one? So Brian Kelly has done well at Notre Dame in these spots. They've covered the last five as uh, at home versus top ten teams. Hmm. So in his tenure, they've the done winningest really well. coach in Notre Dame history as of last week. Oh, wow! What do you Isn't like? that crazy? Uh, good, we swapped out. The oh yeah, the insult artwork. <laughs> you got your good job, Blackman. Oh, you got Desmond yeah. out there. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yep. Um, I'm going to go with Notre Dame. I did say early in the year that I thought Cincinnati was going to go undefeated. I had had those drinks that you just mentioned, Dave. Uh, I do not think Cincinnati is going to beat Notre Dame. Um, and, and the idea that Cincinnati could get into the playoff, that people still think that, I still think that's false. Are you guys? If they win this game, they could get in the playoff, yes. Yeah, I'm starting to think really? now that Clemson's Look, Clemson's out. Twice. Oklahoma looks bad. Like, right. there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of room at the top. Clemson losing twice has basically eliminated the ACC. Mm -hmm. So, and if they beat Notre Dame, that's another elimination. So, the math starts to work in their favor that, that you know, unless you have two SEC teams, which you could. Ohio State's looked shaky. Yep. Like, all these, all these halves have, have not looked I great. I still don't think they'll get in over a one-loss yes. Power 5 team. I don't either. But you, Clemson's already lost twice. Ohio State's already lost once. Like, there's enough, there's enough there that there will probably be a two-loss Power 5 team that gets in. And Oregon will lose eventually. I mean, the, the Pac-12 right. usually does that to themselves. But I'm, I am going to take Notre Dame here. Um, so it is the, the biggest game in Cincinnati's history, but I don't think it's going to matter. Let's go to the last game of the week. Number eight, Arkansas at number two, Georgia. Georgia favored by 18 and a half. The total at 48 and a half. It's a 12 o'clock kick in Athens. Uh, I have Brand a question. Oh, what's the question? Mm -hmm. I have a question. Who's your national championship pick before the season? Oklahoma. It was Oklahoma. Okay, good. People were saying that maybe you're saying Georgia now? He no, I said, I said, well, I, saying Georgia I, I said, I brought two to the table and I said, eventually I, I'm going to choose Oklahoma. Yeah, so was Oklahoma. And then I also had Georgia. I want, I, I want to Georgia test him. He's, he's a man of his word. Through a I of thought season. that he was going to say Georgia I and I was going to say, eh, wrong. But if you ask me yeah. my national title pick now, it's Georgia. Yeah, That's it's fine. Georgia. Now, yeah. my preseason pre was Oklahoma. Yes, yeah, okay. Yeah. Fair. He also said yesterday on Unnecessary Roughness that he puts every single take of his on ice. They never die. Correct. I mean, that's how you do it. So, you put it in the freezer if you need to go get it, if it, if it comes back around. You've never been more. I've, I had to teach you about college football last year. How did you teach me about college football? You kept on saying Notre Dame, Notre Dame. They have a good defense. They have a good defense. They, they did have a good defense. Defense doesn't matter anymore. It does this year. It didn't last I, I will oh, say. Oh, because you're on that now. Yeah. You're come yeah. Back. This is the return of defense okay, experience got this it. year. This desk uh, to the corners, are since we've been doing this show, are wildly infatuated with Oklahoma, and I have 
no idea. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I the first year I've ever liked Oklahoma. No, I mean, even the year before. This year, yes. And I. disgusting awful to be wrong. The year before. They're never good. Yeah, no, we were arguing about that in like 2018. Yes, I've always been on them. They do not look good. I mean, their own students, I know, is a small amount. Like, just being scumbags chanting against Spencer Rattler. Like, that's just, I mean, that'll tell you. I mean, he kind of stinks. I'm kind of cool with it. You are? Yeah, they got a five-star freshman quarterback who's ready to go. Your offense looks that bad. And West Virginia deserves credit because their defense is good. But if your offense looks that bad, Oklahoma. Why not? Why not? They are not good. Uh, But back to this game, Arkansas and Georgia. Ev, I will start with you. Do you have a stat for this one? Yeah, so Arkansas is the fourth biggest top ten underdog of all time. The other three that were bigger all cover the spread. Oh, that oh, is a good stat. That is a good stat. Great stat, Big Ev. Thank you. Uh, Arkansas obviously broke my heart last ben, week. Shout Ben Mintz. Yeah. And Ben Mintz. Oh, and Ben Mintz, yeah. <laughs> he, to his knowledge. Mm-hmm. Uh, he can't get on Ben Mintz. He's just sitting eating jambalaya, taking pictures, <laughs> tweeting, just being like... <laughs> Not drinking, <laughs> losing weight, and just being happy, but not doing much of anything. <laughs> uh, Brandon, he came in. He, I think oh. he was supposed to. Was he supposed to go to Vegas this week? Yeah. yeah. For World and he of- said he can't go because he has to do this stream. The, he asked me a hundred times. It's like, yeah, this is the most relevant you'll be. You have one day potentially, if they win this, more of relevancy. Of course, stream it. It's like, all right, just one check. Just one check. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Whoa, it's in Vegas, the poker? He's stuff? going to World Series of Poker, yeah. And he's not going anymore? Well, he's going Sunday after the Ole Miss oh. Alabama game. Okay, all right. Uh, Brandon, I'll start with you with this game. Uh, I, you think Georgia's going to win the national title now? Yeah, I do. But also, we also I think were wrong number about one team, Arkansas. I think they're the number one team in the country. I've been completely wrong about Arkansas yes. the whole time, and I still can't explain Arkansas. The quarterback is okay. They've got a really good receiver, but they don't have anything that wows you. They I know. Got, they got a bunch of experience, a bunch of six-year seniors, and he's going to say they've got Sam Pittman. No. Uh, Brandon Walker oh. has a huge, great college football analyst, the king of sling. Great show. Go listen. Unnecessary roughness. The man has one glaring, glaring weakness. What is it? Oh. You think. Fat head coaches can't win football. Games. I kind of do. Yes. I don't yes, think it's. I just I dawned on me. He, he said the whole thing about Edo yep. for that whole he's entire not fat. year. No, but bigger, Edo's bigger not guys, yeah, bigger he's guys. He's not Lyman. fat. Bigger Lyman. guys, Lyman guys. I should yeah, yeah. say bigger guys, bigger guys that are. And you definitely you know, call that. I don't trust fat people in leadership positions. Caricatures and everything, like any. You know, Coach O was the. I, I shouldn't have said fat with Coach O. Right. He's not fat. He's a fucking beast. Kick your ass. But. You don't think caricatures. You don't think guys that have the voice. I the, thought the bigger. You Sam Pittman, Edo are your two big glaring weaknesses. I thought when Arkansas hired Georgia's offensive line coach right. to be their head coach, it was the worst right. hire I had ever. You called him right. the water boy. Seen. I called him their water boy, and and he has been the perfect hire. He changed the culture. He's got him playing tough. Got him beating the shit out of everybody from Texas. At the same time, big step up. This isn't a backup quarterback at Georgia. This isn't Texas. This is Georgia. This is the best defense in the country. And Texas might be back. I think Georgia. Uh, Texas is not bad. No, they might be back. I think they'll go back. I, th- I got you. I got you. No, they're not going to lose. I just want them to. Georgia's covering this spread. Mm-hmm. I don't see how Arkansas is going to score on this defense. Uh, did you, Dan? I know that you had him on. Pardon my take. Did he think? He, is he ever going to unblock Brandon from Twitter? No. He no, said not he always. Knows he, why he's blocked. No. And yeah, he's he also blocked. blocked unnecessary roughness and Brandon's Good. college football show. Good. I well then I should be starred because I've been on him in Arkansas all season and yeah. for almost a year and a half. They've been one of my most profitable that plays. That's true. Um, I'm going to say this. I, I am not. Georgia, I, listen, Georgia's always good. Am I that sold on Georgia? Well, yeah, they killed it. First of all, Clemson stinks, mm-hmm. all right? So, so they bet they, they got a lot of points for beating Clemson by a field goal. I believe they ten scored ten a defensive three. touchdown, ten right? 10 three on so a pass. pick score. six. Yeah, so I'm throwing that game out. The other teams, yeah, they've killed them. UAB, South Carolina, Vanderbilt, three horrific teams. I don't care about that. Arkansas, the only thing that worries me about Arkansas is it's still building the program, and he's doing a great job, is they play tough games every single week. And are they going to be a little bit fatigued? Maybe, but I think they get up. And I th- for, again, I'm like deja vu on this show. I'm a broken record on this show. I like Arkansas. I think they keep this game close. I think they could win the game. It wouldn't surprise me, and I'd be sitting here and I'd say, I told you so. They're a tough, tough team. I'm not. There aren't super teams. I don't think we have a super team. I agree with that. So, like, that's a lot of points. That's a, a lot, lot of points. points. In Georgia, I, you know, they 10-3 against Clemson, eh, they stink. That's but the one close game. Isn't this Vegas saying that they believe Georgia's a super team? 
Yes, but they're also, I don't know if they're saying that or they're, because Arkansas has gotten no respect each week. Okay. It's they're an underdog they're not, every they're single week. They're number one in my rankings. Yeah, yeah yes. so, so it's Wait more. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Rutgers was number two last week and they covered the spread. Yeah, Arkansas was number three and they won outright but as a dog. Yes. Rutgers beat number one against the spread. Yeah, but Arkansas won outright. outright as a dog. Fair enough. Yeah. Dan, who are you taking? Uh, I'm taking Arkansas plus 18 and a half. I've also been on them every single week and I also. Ironically, it also. Versus the spread helped because they had no business covering the yeah, week. Yeah, and I had we that won too. against a shitty Rice team. Yeah. But then they, and I had that as well. Yeah. But I mean, I, it was like almost tied going into the fourth quarter. Yeah, no, we, we, covered, a, we covered a 19 point spread where right. we were tied. But since yeah. then, I'll give them a pass on the first half, the first game of the season. Since then, it's been lights out. I mean, the, the second half of the AM game last week, which I did watch and just basically cry throughout it, their, their, def- or their offense could not move against AM. It's just AM's offense is that bad. So I do think that Georgia is not going to have that issue. However, is I have. Is there ha- any game pressure, though? What do you mean? Yeah, it got to 17 10 at one point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And like, and the, and they could not move the ball like at all. Also, Arkansas's two touchdowns but were a little fluky. They were but a little. Not they, yeah, no, they were like they, they were just. Anna was just giving everything up. However, I have been very against Arkansas. I've talked a lot of shit about Arkansas, and I am not going to talk shit about them this week because I've learned my lesson. I do think it's too many points. I'm going to take Arkansas on the points, which I know you guys are probably going to want to switch now that I think that. But no, I mean, uh, the line is the huge, line. so huge. I see the rat and, side of it. And Ev's stat really. Sweet yeah. me as well. All right. All right, let's go to High Noon Trivia with Brandon Walker. High Noon Hard Seltzer is made with real vodka, real juice, and sparkling water. Only 100 calories, gluten-free, and no added sugar. The perfect drink for game day. Real vodka, real juice for real fans just like us. All right, so last week's winner, Noah Pays from the state of New York. Hashtag High Noon Trivia. You submit your answer with that. You get Nooner's merch. All right, number one question. Name the two teams with the most college football playoff ranking appearances without being in the college football playoff. I think I know one of them. Is it top four, you mean? Nope. The two teams with the most, it's the top 25 when they come out with it, the most appearances in the college football playoff committee's rankings, but never making the playoff. The two teams with the most. Is one of them Utah? Texas A&M? A&M. Name the other team outside of Utah. Not A&M? It is not Texas A&M. So... Big Ev has given you one. It's Utah. There is another team that's right behind them. I believe Utah has been in the poll 31 times, and this team has been in there 30 times, and neither of them. What does the poll go to? What do you mean? How many, like, top Top 25. Oh, they sorry. do a top 25. Yeah, it's yeah. It's weird. I would think, like, uh, what's a, I don't know. Wisconsin? Texas? All, all fine guesses. Michigan? None of these are correct. Boise? No, no, not Boise. So the second team is still out there. Utah is one. Okay. Name the team. Utah's first. Name the team that's second with the most of college football playoff ranking appearances without making the playoff. Okay. All right. Dan has a look on his face that he thinks he's well, going to ruin it, but all right. I no longer write down the answers on my sheet, and that's I mean, kind he, of But when, he's that, when he looks like that and he's turned towards He's going to keep working on it. I know. If he gets I know. it, I'll drop it in. Okay. Well, no. Well, while he's thinking about that, let's go to the FTX Locks of the Week. Visit the App Store and download FTX for free today to buy and sell top tokens with absolutely zero fees. FTX crypto comp... Oh, did you figure it out? No, no, no. no. Okay. He feels uh, so good about himself. I do. Oh, well, you look, yeah. So well, because he right now he knows, again, we were going to talk about... This is why I made it, too, because I knew somebody would get Utah. Mm. It was a very savvy move on my part. I mean, to Brandon's defense, we just, well, there's no time limit. We let people guess for yeah. infinity. That's mm-hmm. not really fair. Uh, also, you're feeling good about yourself I because will. somebody on this panel is going to get $50,000 of crypto from FTX. Yep. And right now, you are the sole undefeated person on the locks list. I mean, good I job, was no shock that, that I was dead I, last. He, he, so we had a lock off. off. Yeah. He deserved to win. But I thought I was going to win. I watched that it was, game. It was a one, one point. I didn't yeah. cover by one. Is three turnovers to zero in South Carolina's favor is very hard not to cover, mm-hmm. and we had the ball living at their 40-yard line in the fourth quarter. Well, Brandon, because you are undefeated, I'm going to let you go first. Yeah, I came down to two, but I'm going to ultimately pick the one that we've already talked about. But uh, I like Wisconsin minus one and a half uh, against Michigan. Uh, wow. it, it's just a bad matchup for for Michigan. Listen, Michigan has been they're four and zero, and they're ranked, and they're all this, but. That offense was not good against Rutgers. They couldn't throw it. They couldn't run it. And when Wisconsin is desperate and they're at home at Camp Randall, the best part of their team is their front seven. Is Terrible matchup. Michigan? No, it's Camp Randall. It is? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was at Michigan. No, it's, it's, a, it's Camp a Camp Randall. Randall. Terrible matchup it's for Michigan. Fred Moore. I love Wisconsin minus one and a half. That is my lock of the week. All right, Big Ev, you are two and two. What do you got this week? This week I'm moving with a total. I'm taking the Duke, North Carolina over 71 and a half. Good offenses, horrible defenses. 
Bounce back Spartan North Carolina. I think they could put up 60 by themselves. Duke sneaky offense, not bad, but they gave up 33 to Kansas last week. I love this over Duke North Carolina over 71 and a half. Duke might have one of the best running backs in the country. They do. They they have decent, Durant. decent sneaky good offense, but awful defense. Dan also two and two. Uh, yeah, my lock is going to be Marshall. Marshall minus nine and a half against Middle Tennessee is my lock of the week. They had a heartbreaker to Appalachian mm -hmm. State. They probably should have won that game. A lot of calls went against them. A mm -hmm. uh, couple extra days of rest. Marshall. Okay. Dave? I'm still processing that that Michigan game is at Wisconsin. I don't know. I've yeah, done all this shot. Yeah, I thought I, it was at Michigan. I, mean, I, I did say it. It's Camp Randall. Yeah. Well, so yeah, I heard the Camp home, Randall. Yeah, yeah it, well, the spread makes a lot more yeah. sense now to mm -hmm. me. At least I thought they were Wisconsin was favored on the road. Okay. Anyways, um, <laughs> makes me a lot less. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I am taking Kansas State plus the points. I think they beat Oklahoma. I don't know exactly who the quarterback is. Don't really care. I feel like they kind of play a similar offense, uh, and Oklahoma sucks. Yeah, I had that written down as well, but the quarterback situation is, like, tough for me. I mean, they might be starting their third-string quarterback. Yeah, who cares? I, 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 I could put anybody But, I mean, Kansas State always plays Oklahoma. They're going to win the I mean, line yeah. of scrimmage. They're going to do that little quarter. You don't have to have much practice. Just do student body right with the quarterback well, out of the shotgun. Chris Kleiman, the coach of Kansas State, is 2-0 against yes. Oklahoma. Yes, Oklahoma stinks. Yeah, yeah and, they're, and they're definitely not good. Um, I had that one written down, but I'm going to go with the Michigan-Wisconsin under, which I want to know how you guys feel about that. I mean, 43 and a half, I just – I mean, the biggest lock in the world was Notre Dame-Wisconsin under last week, and it just – Well, that's because there was like – I mean, it just I know, but it went happened. wildly out I'm of control. Out, I'm out on college football unders. It, it, if, I mean, if the game resembles anything, which Wisconsin runs for 10 yards to carry, it'll yeah. go over, but I don't know. I, I, listen, maybe Michigan – I feel actually weirdly more confident after I've processed all of this that the game is at Wisconsin and the spread. It makes a lot more sense. So you can make sense of the line now. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I just Graham Mertz. I feel like he's just going to always like throw a bunch of interceptions. Well, that I mean, he's, he's not going to do that. I mean, that, that was fluke. That's bad. That's though. true. Like, yeah. And also, if he starts I very, I mean, I'm poorly, obviously I bad at the locks this year. Yeah. There will be a hook on him. I don't know. I'm going to do it. I don't like betting unders, but let's give the ball to Malusian Berger every play if that happens. Interceptions to me. Is points. Would you agree with that? In college, yes. In pros, not always. Because pros, I like, mean, obviously where you do it, but uh, generally turnovers yeah. lead to points in college football. I yes. mean, all football, but. I just can't take unders in college football anymore because you just, you think you're safe in. College football plays. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, no, that's the mark. like 3-3 three, three late yeah, in the yeah. second. Marshall Appalachian State was, should have, it, it went over by a half a point because they ran the greatest kick return of all time. Yeah. Where they faked the camera out. I don't know. I'm going to stick with it. I don't Good like news it. Is you, don't have, you don't really have yeah, to care matter. that much. No, I'm one in three. Really I know. I, mean, yeah. it's, I don't. I mean, I'm. I don't a great comeback, but it's tough to jump everybody. Yeah, no. I mean, it is only September, so I guess it's October when this airs, but I mean. It's just tough. It's like a division race when you are yeah. have to jump. No, it's I'm need four incredibly people to bad cold. this year. Yes, yep. incredibly bad. I can admit that. Let's go to the FTX Top 10s, and we've been talking about this, the FTX Student Crypto Giveaway. In addition to our Top 10s, we also have a Top 10 leaderboard of students signing up for verified FTX accounts and giving away massive prize pools of crypto to the leaders, including a $100,000 prize split among signups for the number one school. All you have to do is sign up for FTX using your .edu email address, and it will get your school higher on the board. UNH. We need Michigan. Wisconsin yeah. on here. We need A&M on here. On. Congratulations, Michigan. Michigan. I mean, this is like third week in a row they've been yeah, number well, one. It's a power school, the biggest alumni network in the country. Presidents, is that really quarterbacks, true? Is that true? Bloggers. That's not true. Yeah, it is. I, yeah. I just asked. She's the one who said not true. I said. I, don't, I think A and M is probably. It, no, that list I mean, up there again. A cult. Well, we went. Uh, put that well, list up every there college again? football school is a cult. Uh, you said that you said. No, they're not on there. Uh, yeah, okay. We also were at Michigan, though. What does that mean? Like, we had students from Michigan signing up in the crowd. Do you think that guy uh, <laughs> at the game the other day has realized he won fifteen thousand dollars yet? Sam no. Smith. Sam Smith. No. He, I don't I mean, think you remembered signing up. <laughs> he had no idea. He, he didn't know. Yeah, he didn't no, know he, what planet he was on. Megan making money, husband move. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all you have to do is use your .edu email, email address and sign up. Uh, my top 10, it's pretty straightforward. Obviously, I had A&M at number one. They are completely dropped out. I was going to keep them there until they lost. Um, I did not put Arkansas in it, but I, I still do think Michigan <laughs> – what? what are you laughing at now? What's wrong with this? How could you not have Arkansas in there at this point? Well, it was between Arkansas and Michigan, and I think Michigan's better. Oh, my God. What? I can't How could disagree you think? with that. I think Michigan because, Put it because back I up. think that AM Arkansas A&M's beaten good but, teams. I know, but AM's offense is that bad or was that bad against Arkansas. How can you have Oklahoma ahead of Arkansas? Because just because they started higher? 
I know that's like not a real excuse, but that is why. I mean, they started higher and they just their droppings. They don't look as good, but I'm not going to drop them completely out. We will look back at Iowa being in the top five this point of the year and think that's the craziest thing they ever. They're happened. not. They're I, not. Listen, but, they're not good. They're I, not I, good. And I know that people, Iowa fans, will be like, Wisconsin's not good. Wisconsin's not good. Actually, that will be. I, I will put out. I promise to everyone, Wisconsin, Iowa, when they play, I will put out a punt prop hmm. that. <laughs> will guarantee hit because they both those offenses suck and both those defenses are really good. Big Ev, we'll go to you. I got this. I got, I mean, pretty so I got Bam and George at the top. I mean, a lot. This is a big prove it week for a lot of teams. I, I will agree. Probably an oversight by I me. Mean, Arkansas has a better resume than Oklahoma. I hey, big 100%. man. Yeah, what's up? I noticed you ten. Yeah. They get a loss. Yeah, they do. At home. Yeah, number three team in the country. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah. What were they three when they played them? What's up? What? Number three team in the country. When they played them, what were they? Uh, 11 or 12. Double digit. Good football team. Interesting. <laughs> I guess that's how you do it there. No integrity. Zero integrity. How's that? You put a one loss team in the top 10? They're a top 10 football team. Okay, results don't matter? They matter. Apparently not to you. Play some good teams. What? Tougher schedule. <laughs> any, any rebuttal before we move on? I don't even know what you, we're playing. We're at Camp Randall this way. What do you want? An unranked one and two team? That's oh, not that's fun. not fair. That's true. <laughs> it's a, very it's a nice. Fact. It's a fact. <laughs> it is. I mean, it's ridiculous that you have a one-loss team in your top ten it's, right now. It's just There's so many teams. Well. I mean, I don't think that's that ridiculous. I mean, I How is it that ridiculous? Put it back up. Put it back up. They're like up. number 11 in the AP poll. I don't think that's that ridiculous. They're number 11 in the AP poll. How is that ridiculous? It's crazy. Who else is on I don't see how it's that crazy. No, of course. Arkansas. Michigan. BYU. He's got Arkansas in there. Yeah, Arkansas is in there. Definitely. I honestly, I, I even admitted over they probably should be a little higher. Okay. Baylor, yeah. I mean, yeah, Baylor, Baylor. Baylor was a pretty but, good. But I mean, they haven't really beat. Who have they beaten? Yeah, but who have you beaten? Baylor just beat. All us. you've done is lose. What do you mean? All we've done is who lose. have you beaten? Minnesota on the road. <laughs> environment. Did Minnesota just <laughs> lose? Bowling Bowling healthy. Green. Bowling green. Bowling Bowling healthy. Green. The only thing you can safely say about Ohio State this year is that they would win the MAC. For sure. Right. Okay. You, you, essentially, you're 0 and 1. You played one real game, you lost. No. So, what does that make you, 0 0? No, they didn't. Why? Beat, what? Western Michigan beat Pitt, Bowl, uh, Northern Illinois beat Georgia Tech. What does that matter, though? What do you mean, what does that matter? <laughs> what's anything matter? You're just going, what's life matter? Wins and losses <laughs> matter. Yeah, no, I, I agree. They definitely matter. You're 0 and 1. And you're a oh, top 10. No, team. Well, we, Wait, who'd you play week one? Minnesota. 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 So you, They're terrible. Minnesota has one Tulsa, win. Tulsa, Akron. The, like, they, those, oh. have, those teams have no wins. I know. I'm no just wins. telling you who they're playing. Zero, zero wins. You yeah. literally have played nobody. You one team and you got killed. You guys played one even a power five team. You almost lost to Rutgers. Almost. Give gifts and Well, they played yeah. Washington. True. Who's also an FCS team. Power five, yeah, but you, you haven't beat anybody. <laughs> I do. Minnesota. At full Minnesota strike, just lost they lost. Bowling they had the best running back well, in the country. It was Bowling Green, I think. Miami was, of Ohio, uh, a thirty-point underdog in this. Miami game? of Ohio, they were Ooh. thirty. They lost to Miami of Ohio. They lost to Bowling, Bowling Green. Oh, it was Bowling Green. Green? Yeah, Green. Oh, 30, 30 oh, Bowling Green. Oh, thirty-point. Bowling Green is worse than Miami of Ohio. Yeah, like thirty-something. That's the team that's that, you, that you beat. That you're hanging your hat on. Okay. Well, they were at, they were at full strength that time. Great top ten team. Man. Uh, well, Dave, we'll go ahead and do yours because we know Dan's is unbiased. Unbiased. Unlike other people. No, mine's truly unbiased. Do you, oh, I don't no see Michigan. Michigan on this thing. Oh, that's that's, that's unbiased. Fair. That is so true. that's what I'm saying. Fair. No, that's fair. No, no, I'm fair. I'm unbiased and you're not. That's Arkansas fair. I just three? proved it. Yeah, because I Oh, Miss it too? I think they're that good. I told They you. haven't beaten anybody. Well, Louisville's turned uh, it around. Uh, it, that's bit. aging better than we I'm thought. I'm going. But. They're undefeated, and I think they're very good. I've already said that. This is a fair, unbiased look at where I – Georgia, I dropped way it's a down. Number four, one on the road at Columbus, Ohio. Number two hasn't been anybody. That they're all undefeated. I don't give Ohio much credit. They haven't beaten anybody. They literally have zero wins. So we don't know if they're any good. That's a fair, unbiased look. I dropped Georgia because Clemson's a farce. Can we put that up? Man, stop picking them down so fast. <laughs> Talking to BYU has a couple impressive wins. Kentucky, I, I, I slept on them a little bit. I watched that game. I've liked them perennially. Um, so I think it's fair and unbiased. Penn State, this is how you do it up then. You don't do it because I went to some fucking school with institutional chaos. And don't, 
Uh, they have are, are you going to make me do the Bo Schembecker thing? Because I will. Don't oh, make me. Oh, oh, we want to talk. We want to talk some shit. We want to talk some shit. Let's. We can go there if we want to go there. Uh oh. I don't know what this means. Uh, it's not great. Yeah, 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 it's not uh, great. Enab- oh, institutional enab- chaos. Enabling kid diddling. We want to talk about that. We diddling. Can. Yeah. Yeah. Bo Schembecher diddled people. Is that oh, what you're saying? No, he, no, he was he's Joe he Pa. Actually, his, he was Joe Pa before Joe Pa. I don't and, think so. If we if we want to go there, we can go there. Son, right? I, yeah, he, he, he told like his, his own son. son. His own stepson Adolf. came to him and said, "This man is touching me." He didn't give a fuck. That sounds yeah. it's made up. By no, Ohio it's the truth. Oh. The truth. Yeah, where in your little imaginary world? <laughs> no, sounds that way. Look it up. Do some research. I'll do some research. It's a shame. It's a shame. They idolized that man there. That was. That turned dark really fast, David. I, I, he, I, he you brought that hand. weapon out early. Yeah, he forced was, my hand. I thought that would be like a week eight weapon. I know. I, well, I thought oh. it might be like Ohio State Michigan week weapon, but it uh, now Dave's gonna Google it. Oh, Please. Let's see. Yeah. Mine's unbiased, truly unbiased. <laughs> Put it up there. Mine's unbiased in a Michigan. It's truly unbiased. It's against the spread. Arkansas has done it every single way. They've done it every single way. Look at a lot of red on the left. Look at uh, Bowling a lot Green of red. up there. Look at Bowling Green. Arkansas, let me take a picture of this because then I like to tweet it out and people get really mad. Uh, <laughs> Arkansas has done it every single way. They've won outright as an underdog twice. Mm-hmm. Twice. Rutgers still undefeated against the spread. Nebraska, Nebraska has come back. Nebraska's not a bad football They're not bad. They're not, it's not just showing the records, but man, they should have won that game against Michigan State. And yeah. so I'm giving them their just de- deserve. And then Georgia obviously is just, I, 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 I know that I, take, I took Arkansas this week. Mm-hmm. But I have to say, Georgia, last week, as a 34-and-a-half-point favorite, we were covering that spread with two minutes left in the first quarter. Do you know how hard that is, is to do? Vanderbilt is so bad. But 35 to nothing with yeah. two minutes left in the first quarter. When you bet a favorite, minus 34-and-a-half, you hope that you start getting in the cover zone in, like, the third, mm-hmm. fourth quarter. They did in the first. I think Vanderbilt might lose to UConn this weekend. They are that bad. I think bad. they're that bad. It'd be Colorado know. State on the road. Or did you le- find anything, Dave? Yeah, did you find anything? No. <laughs> Nothing? No. I mean, not even, not even not, one thing. No, Wikipedia. <laughs> he did he did his research. <laughs> He's researching. I mean, Wikipedia is a, it's just, it's a you horrible believe what you read on the internet. Yeah. Humanity. It's just not at Ohio State. I'm watching him do his research yeah, right now. I, I'm looking right now. I'm trying. Uh, uh, I'm seeing everything. He was, all right. Where, he was uh, at Ohio State in 1952. 1958 to 1962, Ohio State. You're just assistant. looking up the man's resume. No, I'm seeing what he did. He, he learned everything he knew from Woody Hayes. He's from <laughs> Ohio. I didn't know he had this many Ohio State connections. Uh, Never happened there. I don't see anything. Uh, through his Michigan teams, number one national champion, although we see they fished ranked at 16 times, played top 10. Coach of the year, 77, 69. Uh, Reading the man's accolades, some things are bigger big, than sports. Big today. 10 coach of the year, 72, 76, 80, 82, 85, 89, six-time, inducted to the College Football Hall of Fame, 93, played football ball, ta- uh, he was a tackle at Miami Anything University. off the field? He's coached by Woody Hayes. Uh, Is there any, like, University of scandal Michigan. tab, maybe? Stepson or a certain coach? Some of his 15th head, Bump Elliott is the name. I'm just gonna, first yeah, first you know what? Name. I'm going down. It's almost. No, just keep going. You can keep going. Uh, we'll be live from Blacksburg I don't next week. Give my top ten. Oh, you didn't give your top ten? No. I skipped you. <laughs> yeah. I thought you did yours. You when? did yours. When? Uh, I'm with Big Ev. I think Ohio State's a top <laughs> ten team. Oh no. Thank uh, you, Brandon. Uh, Thank so, you. so I, I just, my bad. I just judge who I think the best teams are in the country, and at some point, somebody's gonna have to outscore Ohio State in the Big Ten. I don't know. Or they'll, they'll have to beat one team. <laughs> What's that? They haven't beat anybody. Well, they'll they'll have the chance. They'll be playing teams very they'll very soon. They'll be Rutgers soon. by more than. I also think Michigan Florida, team. who has a loss, is one of the top ten teams in the country. I agree. Um, I really hate having Iowa in there because I don't think they're one of the top ten teams in the country. But I would look like a, a spoiled bitch if I didn't have them in there. And Iowa doesn't like me anyway. So there's my top ten. I'm really sorry that I skipped you. I thought you went. That's all right. We're going to Blacksburg, huh? Yeah, we're going to Blacksburg next that week. That is one place that I am dying to go. That's a huge bar place. Notre going to Dame. We're going to do another Notre Dame game versus Virginia Tech, 6 p.m. Will be the live show. Love it. Uh, I, I'm very excited. I, yeah, I got a little he said, she said going on here. <laughs> so an adopted son with an axe to grind said. <laughs> with an axe to grind. I assume he was adopted. It's versus the biological. It's the adopted. The biological has said it's all lies. Bo Schembechler never knew anything about these allegations, which are horrific. Um, but the, the adopted son has said that there's some bad things that's going on. I'll have to further. A lot of bad things. A lot of bad things. But Horrible things. Like, well, yeah. Disgusting. They are allegations at this they point. They are allegedly. Allegations. Yeah. But bad things for sure. Really bad. Really bad. Like some of the worst. Well, I mean, 
what was that assistant coach who, you know, with Urban, the text message about domestic abuse and things of that nature that was going on? I mean, I don't want to get into a battle. Well, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's, I don't want to get into domestic show. abuse over molestation. We don't have to go. No, but the, yours have been factual. Yeah, I, have, I have the messages. Well, I have, not factual. We have the text messages. No, we do. We do have the text We do. Um, that's a, they exist. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to say where we got Hook'em Horns from, right? I'm not going to defend Thanks, Hook'em. Thanks, Hook'em. Thanks, Hook'em. 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 I, I, I will wait for the facts to come out. I have the facts with you. Cool and Hook'em. Sir. Well, it's a good that, show. All good right. show. Sad when Ohio good State sh- fans have to reach deep into the library of allegations. It wasn't reaching deep. It was haven't just... been found yet because they haven't won a football game. This is what happens when you can't win football games, but these guys don't have the right to point the finger at anybody. Well, we'll see you guys next week. Look at him. Gross. <laughs> One thing to remember when you're gambling on the Barstool Sportsbook app, make sure that you gamble responsibly. Know your odds, know your chances of losing. Gamble responsibly. Nobody wants to end up in a trash can. You can play with Penn National, which is a licensed and regulated operator. Big words. If you have a problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER.